Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. This is going to be a first impressions video on this very awesome Custom Knife Factory DCPT3. Uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and switch to the top down view for that when I get into the details of this. But before I do that, I wanted to quickly share with you a couple of things that are coming up for the channel. So if you're not subscribed, uh, go ahead and do that because there's going to be some cool stuff coming up. I've got a couple of things from Wee Knives. I've got a, a Riat knife that uh, I was really interested in, and, and I think the one that's coming is a second generation. By the way, I've got some of the knives that I'm talking about are not my own. They're coming to me for review. Um, so when I do those knives, especially if you're watching and you've sent me a knife for review, uh, obviously, that's going to get bumped to the, the front of the line. You know, my own knives, I often wait a month or two months, sometimes longer before I get to the review because I want to get a good sense for the knife. Obviously, if, I, if someone has given me their knife, I'm not going to keep it for more than a week. Um, so I'll have it for a few days, do my review, and then send it back. Uh, I may, if, I, if it's really appropriate, fit in two reviews of, of a particular knife or two videos if I think it's one that really ought to be compared to something else, okay? So, there you go guys, that's some of the stuff that's coming up. I'm pretty excited about the knives that are coming out, some really cool stuff. Uh, and so go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss anything and stick with me for the next few minutes and I'll give you my first impressions and some of the, the detailed description of the Decepticon 3 from Custom Knife Factory. Hey guys, here we are zoomed in on the Custom Knife Factory Decepticon. I wanted to start by showing you that it ships with uh, the Custom Knife Factory little pouch. And then uh, inside there, there is a sticker from Russia with Knives. And uh, it's also going to have a certificate of authenticity and a chocolate. Now I'm a little curious about the chocolate and maybe if someone from Custom Knife Factory is watching this, you might want to weigh in and uh, clue me in on the significance of that. Uh, let me move this stuff out of the way now and uh, we'll leave the cloth, which also comes with the knife in the background. Now this knife, because of the stonewash finish, is not really um, bad for picking up fingerprints. Uh, so the cloth is not as necessary as maybe some of those hand rubbed satin blades that come from Custom Knife Factory, which are uh, gorgeous by the way, but uh, this knife is not really one that shows a lot of fingerprints. Anyway, now for those of you who asked about uh, this knife or about which knife I was after when I made that for sale video, this is the knife I was after. Uh, I saw these uh, posted on From Russia With Knives and there was only one left with the uh, Damascus clip or what they are they're calling the Damascus clip uh, and so I really wanted to get my hands on one like that uh, it was maybe ten dollars more than the standard version or something like that uh, now let's go ahead and talk about uh, some of the features on this and I'll give you my sort of overall impressions one other thing you may remember is if you watched if you've been around that long if you haven't go back and watch you might find some enjoyment out of it uh, the video admired from afar and there I talked about knives that I love that I think are totally awesome uh, but which you know I probably would never own due to you know cost or availability or you know a number of other factors and this was on the list this was a knife that um, you know the the Decepticon is a great gorgeous looking knife I've often sort of drooled over it but had kind of resigned myself to the fact that I would never probably own one. So uh, I will say that I'm fairly excited to have this particular knife in my collection and feel rather fortunate that I'm able to get my hands on it uh, and uh, have been really, really enjoying it. Uh, let me go ahead now and get into uh, sort of a quick overview of the size and features on this knife. Uh, the knife is nine inches overall. In fact, it's like nine and an eighth. The blade is four and an eighth and the handle is five inches even. Uh, it does have this Damascus clip on it and uh, full titanium handle. And of course it is um, a kind of a different handle construction, but essentially this is just a, uh, a liner lock. So you've got milled titanium scales here. Uh, over titanium liners with a titanium backspacer uh, and the finishes that are done on this is one of the things that makes the knife look as cool as it does so let me hold on the blade here we'll get back to the blade in a second but this is the the lock side and you've got you know a milled titanium scale here over uh, a titanium liner and there's the liner lock you can see the the lock bar insert there 
Uh, and then you've got a backspacer, and the backspacer is again black washed titanium. It's really cool how it kind of rises up here. And let me just show you this one detail. I know, you know, we don't get into too many details usually in an overview, but uh, right here you can see there's a spot for a lanyard and it's if you turn the knife just this way and look at it and really even if you you know handed it to someone to look at they may or may not catch that so it's a really nicely hidden lanyard hole uh, over on this side I'll just I'll just show the finishes as well uh, they said they'd show a little better here because there's no pocket clip in the way but what they've got on this scale is polished flats and then on the the milled portion here there's a stone wash and then of course you've got the uh, black wash titanium liners under that. Uh, the blade is sort of a, a modified drop point uh, with a really attractive looking stone wash. It's not too overly grayed out. Uh, you can still, you know, it still has that nice, you can see how it still kind of catches the light there. Um, but it's also not uh, so uh, what would you say so finely polished that any little mark is going to show right away uh, Nice sharp edge on this and this is a very very slicey knife. It's a fairly thin uh, Piece of blade stock to begin with and so then by the time you grind this you've got very very thin edge geometry uh, And it slices uh, like crazy uh, so uh, M390 steel titanium uh, bearings uh, very very smooth bearings uh, in this uh, liner lock knife. There you go. Uh, quick little points to notice here. Uh, you know, I love the attention to detail on this. I love the overall design and how everything kind of fits together. Even when the knife is closed, you know, some knives they look really cool open and they're designed around, you know, an open design. But even when you close this knife, it still looks really cool. It still looks like the design is well thought out and very intentional uh, about what's going on. There are a couple little things that I have questions about, but uh, we'll get into that in the full review. For now though, the last thing I want to point out is that very small flipper tab. Uh, I will say it works better in a push button sort of deployment than it does in a light switch. Light switch you can sometimes slide off it. I didn't there, but uh, in a push button deployment, it's it's just a little more reliable. Uh, so there you go. That's my initial impressions of the Custom Knife Factory Decepticon. Really, really nice knife. Uh, and uh, I've got to say that I'm really enjoying uh, getting to use and carry and sort of get to, to know this very, very awesome blade. Thanks for watching and we will talk to you soon.